after Port Vale a couple of weeks ago, everything seemed very down, very dreary, and you know, two weeks later, six points, and no, we're near job done, obviously, but a, a lot, lot better. Yeah, it seems to have been a long time since that game, and uh, yeah, we, we addressed a lot of things in that in that time as well. Uh, we were really, really proactive in what we wanted to do as a group, players, staff, club, everybody, uh, and yeah. We've, we've managed to pick up two wins on the spin now, which is which is fantastic. Uh, so yeah, it's something what we want to build on. We're, we're, we're fully aware of that. That it's it's, all, it's only a little stepping stone. That's it. It's not a job done, uh, and we have to be uh, really really focused now to, to to obviously build on that and keep that run going. Uh, built on that opening goal, when you come somewhere like this, when you know they're going to be up for it, the crowd are up for it. The drum was beating and uh, getting the early goal is so important such a difficult place to come they put you under a lot of pressure uh, on the ground and, and, and we knew we had to be uh, we had to be strong in certain areas of the game today and I thought that the, the players were fantastic we asked them to be really really brave and and uh, when moments come about to control the ball and, and, and control possession and and they did and that that takes a lot of courage and they did that today and then when kind of we were defending set plays and things like that you had to be strong you had to be disciplined and they, they did that as well so all credit to the place so like Kai Kai come you know comes in at, at uh, wing back and Tenai Watson has to move in and and yet they're producing some of their probably their best performances yes 100% uh, we're under no illusions that we need everybody at the minute. Uh, so you see that from the players. I think you see when the, the disappointments of players not being involved and not starting the game and how they come on and how they apply themselves when players are playing out of position. How they apply themselves is a testament to their character and their belief in what they want to do for the club. Uh, and they want to work Evan and Hearth to, 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 to get the three points for the club. So they'll do whatever whatever's required so that's that's a, for me as a manager to have players who do that is is fantastic good goal as goal uh, as well good finish great finish yeah uh, we uh, we wanted to create opportunities today and we felt we did that uh, we could have made it more comfortable for ourselves particularly in the second half but okay we we know it's not easy and uh, and, and we knew we were going to have to stand strong and we did that uh, right up until the final whistle yeah, moved out the relegation zone psychologically um, that's can only be a good thing yeah, for the players, you know, I always say football's played in the head. The psychological elements of the game is massive, uh, and we've had to deal with a lot of uh, testing moments over 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 the last few weeks, and we've come through that. And we're now we just have to be really really focused that we keep pushing forward. That's my message to the players. Enjoy the moment for a brief spell, but then we push on it again because, you know. As of losing can become a habit, winning can as well, and we need to we need to grasp that winning mentality now and, and move forward with it. Things maybe were going against you injury-wise, and, and players not being available over the last kind of few months. But even that's starting to turn. Salah Kai Kai obviously going away on international duty, but Jonathan, I'm not trying to pick your team for you. But Jonathan Leko comes back next week into contention. Yeah, of course he does, uh, and I said that before that we've uh, we've been dealt some tough cards over over the period since I've been in. But that's football. Uh, I've quickly realised and I quickly understand that whenever you're presented with a problem, uh, you, you quickly address it and you find a solution. And that, that's what we've done. But now to see players coming back and players becoming more available, uh, Anthony Stewart now training, Dean Lewington coming back into the team, you know, every game is getting stronger and stronger. So, you know, that's, that, that's a good headache for me to have. Uh, and, you know, it gives me... Uh, chance to select from a, a bigger pool of players which is uh, more beneficial <laughs> um, the defense has come under a little bit of fire in the in the, well, last month or so but two massive clean sheets and another massive performance again this afternoon yeah we had to stand tall we knew that uh, the influence of Dean Lewington is a big big part of that it's not the be all and end all I get that but it's a massive ma massive factor in uh, in the mentality of the group, uh, it's like he calms everything down when he's out. He's, he's, he's such a calming influence. So that, when you're defending, that calming influence is massive. Uh, you've got to be on the front foot and aggressive, but you've got to have a calmness about you as well. Uh, and he's been a big part of that. But again, it's other players stepping up. It's other players stepping up and understanding what's required and pushing through the mental side of it through tough times. Uh, and yeah, as a team, we defended really, really well. It felt like when you were coming under a little bit of a storm in that second half you made those changes brought on Devoy and, and, and Max Dean and that seemed to stem the tide a little bit 
Yeah, every player who came on, yeah, uh, played their part. You know, you got players chomping at the bit. You got players out of the squad. You got players not starting, but they've all they've all got a, a, a real strong belief in that this is this is what I can bring to the to the group. Yes, they want to start, of course, as players. But listen, when they get a chance, they want to come in and impact it and and and, and do well for the team. And you saw that again today. Um, well, obviously, we mentioned Sally and his goal missing him next week for with international duty but that's massive for him isn't it it is I've just said that and he's absolutely gutted to be missing the game uh, but I've said listen international call-ups don't come around very often and you're very privileged to have that and it's credit to him as a player that he's done that so he needs to go and enjoy the moment uh, to say you've had an international cap is, is, is unbelievable and, and credit to him uh, and I said you know we've, we've got players there chomping at the bit to come in and you know, the, the, the players, I'm sure, will go and give everything and, and hopefully continue the run when he's away.